What's going on world? It's Alex Acosta and I'm back with another fun, quick and easy tutorial inside of Vegas. So today we're gonna talk about shortcuts. Every single editor has their own unique style of shortcuts. Some is within the keyboard, others is actually within the software. Mine's today I'm gonna show you is on the actual keyboard. I use two letters all the time to edit inside of Vegas, the letter S and the letter D. Um, let's jump into the timeline so I can show you how I alter those letters and how I use them to my advantage. Okay, and we are in the timeline and this is Doce. Doce just won a Grammy for best rap album of the year. One of the biggest awards you could win. So it's pretty cool and dope that I got to direct this live performance for her a couple months back. And this is for a different award show. But um, again, I'm just thankful and grateful I got to direct this one. Um, these cuts is already made as you see this whole timeline is already sliced out. But let me just hit play so you could just see a few different cuts. Okay, and that is four cameras. I did a four camera setup for here, but again, this is already sliced and cut. So what I did was copy and paste, and I drugged it over here to this side of the timeline, but what I wanna show you what it looks like before I even chopped anything up. So again, on this side on the left, already sliced up for what it was presented to the award show. And over here on the right is right before I even did anything. So this is usually how I would start. Once all tracks is aligned, I'll watch the whole performance throughout, and maybe every five to 10 seconds, what I'll do is hit the letter S. And you see when I hit the letter S, everything on the timeline just cut right there. And S stands for split. So what I did was I, I created a split in the timeline. And again, I'll watch the whole performance through, hit another S, hit another S, and let's say for one more time, hit another S. Now, I would only do this more so for music videos because for music videos, what I'm knowing is that every two, three seconds or a second, depending how fast you wanna go on the edit, you would need to make a cut and you'll need to make a split somewhere. So I'm already getting the cuts and the splits ready. Now let's just assume I did this for the whole entire timeline. What I'll come back and do is pick the scenes that I like so I'll manually watch, see what angle looked the best for her. And then um, I'll just keep cutting out, right? And deleting, and if not, Control Z brings it right back if I deleted a wrong one. But let's say I wanna go with here, okay, we keep it that way, right? So that's the first a shortcut key that I use again is S. S is the most essential one for me for split, right? Now, let's jump back over to the timeline over here to the left where everything is already cut. So assuming I did all the S's and everything, now, Let's assume everybody liked everything, everything was cool, but what they want to do is maybe render out only 30 seconds of a clip. This is a three minute performance, I'm sorry, two minutes and 40 second performance, but let's say they only want a certain 10 seconds, 20 seconds or 30 seconds for social media. So if they want it, let's say from right here for the next 10 seconds, how would I get that? There's a few ways you can just render that part right here, but. The key thing here is hitting D once. When you hit D, it gives you an envelope. Now this envelope, once I take my cursor here and I drag it anywhere I stop, that's where it's gonna render. So this bar up here is where it's gonna render. As you see, it says loop region. This loop is what actually is gonna render when I hit render. So for me, again, I get a lot of different inquiries of, hey, I need 10, different version of clip outs and they give me the exact time points. So in this case, if it was between 57 seconds and 108, that's exactly how I will get it with ease. Again, I can go to this point right here, which is the nine second mark. And all I gotta do with my cursor is hold down and continue to scrub over until I wanna stop. And as soon as I stop, that is the area that once I'm ready to hit file, render as, that's the area that's gonna render. Now the letter D on the keyboard has a couple different features. If I hit D once, as you've seen, it was the envelope. If I hit D again, you see it changes to the square. This square is the selection tool. So for example, let's say I wanted to highlight this whole entire area. I would just hold D down and I will, with my cursor, scrub the area that I need to highlight, which in this case is here. And I'll do this as well. Now you see how I wanted to get only this side, but this side got highlighted as well, it's fine. Hit D again till you get back to your normal cursor, hold control, and then with your right, with your mouse, just left click, and that will get that off here. But here, 
Now, if I needed to just move this off the timeline for a second and insert anything I needed to insert right here, it could be a graphic, it could be a break, it could be anything they're telling me, get ready for commercial. So at times they need a five second break or, or something, just a blank screen to insert something. So I can create it this way. Now, again, let's say they tell me, hey, we don't need it anymore. I know I can hit D not once, hit D twice. It goes back to the square, which is the selection. Highlight everything I need yet again. Go back to D twice so it comes to this cursor and I'm bringing it back over. Bam. And now it is back aligned and everything's back in sync there. Now the super crucial function with the letter S is now we're going to add control S. Control S automatically saves your edit. And the biggest thing for me is, again, at times I'm editing between two, four, six, or eight video clips at 4K, 6K, 8K. Most computers can handle that. I'm sorry, most computers can't handle that. So I got a custom PC here, there. But even in my custom PC, sometimes a file might, might jam or might overload and we all have experienced a system crashing. So I've been through it too many times in my life. So after every few slices, with when, when I hit an S, I'm, I'm gonna go, actually, let me jump over to this other side. So every, when I'm doing my slices, right, and I, and I come here and I hit S, what I do is after like maybe every two or three slices, I hit Control S and it automatically saves. So if it was to crash right now, it's gonna crash at my very, I mean, I'm gonna bring, be able to bring it back where I was able to save it at. I can't tell you how many times I've made edits and I didn't hit auto save or, or control save. And when I open it up from crashing, it's 10 edits ago that I now need to go back and make these new sets of edits. Mentally frustrating. So again, S for slice, control S to save. Now the cool thing about this is I use this on my keyboard as a feature that's already there, but this is actually in front of you available for your tools right in front of your face. Let's take a look. So if you go down to your timeline, it's already here. Remember the first D that you hit is envelope. The second time you hit D right here at the bottom is the selection tool. And then the third time, which I haven't talked about here, would be your zoom. So if you go here, not once, not twice, but three times is your zoom. I don't use zoom. That's not a feature that I'm awfully using, so I didn't talk about it. But I'm here to show you that these three accesses right here that I use, the normal, the selection, the envelope, sorry, and the selection are all three in front of you here. But it's way easier just to hit S and to hit D and then control S for autosave. Now, last little extra note to throw in. In a music video, you know how the songs, when it comes to an end, sometimes we have a little gap right here as far as when the cameras continue to roll. So do you see, I'm gonna hit play, the song ends right here. So right there. So normally you would have to hit S again to slice and then all of these parts, you'll get rid of this right here and you highlight it and hit delete. So I'm going to control Z, which brings everything back. But if I know that the song ends right here and this is exactly where I wanna clip it out at, all I got to do is hit Alt and the bracket and then the, the end bracket. And as you see, it brought it to my end mark right there. I no longer have to hit slice, highlight, and delete. That automatically just ends it right, right where my cursor is at. So that's another crucial little uh, feature that I do use on my keyboards all the time when I'm editing music videos. And that, my friends, is how I use my shortcut keys inside of Vegas. My specifically was on the keyboard. I would love to know how you guys use your uh, shortcuts and how it helps you in your workflow. And once again, congratulations to Doshe for winning her award. But in the meantime, between time, it's your boy signing off. Holla, cheer!